Like no no gent or something. You want me to send Ted you the me- the message? Ted Nugent, Ted Nugent. He was on yeah. Joe Rogan. Um, I mean, you, you can if you want. I mean, I'm not gonna like watch any videos right now. I'm just gonna answer questions. So whatever uh, whatever sparked your interest about whatever you saw in that video, you can ask a question regarding that video. If you wanna send it to me, I'll peep it. Yeah, I'll send it to you. But like what, what, what in particular it? what in particular stood out? He's saying like the tofu that's that's being made, the process is like also your like the the animals and they have to use the parasites or whatever. I mean the uh you know things and it, the animals get in there and they and they die from yeah. from the farming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, real listen, quick, listen, uh, dude, listen. That that's what you're talking hold about. Up, I'm not. I'm, you know. Hold up. Hold up. No, no. I understand. I know that's not what you're saying. I got you. So, real quick, anyone joining in? What's up, guys? Um, we're just gonna chop it up for a little bit. Um, I know some of you guys have been here before. Uh, I get hit up all the time. Emails, DMs, Twitter, Twitter. Uh, I mean, Twitch uh, PMs, and obviously during live stream via donations, just people chopping up and chat. And it's just easier to have a conversation like in a in a group like this where everybody has their mics, everyone can listen, just so nothing gets like um, you know, taken out of context or anything like that. So just do me a favor, just keep your mics on, push to talk. Um, if you guys are like, you know, if anyone gets obnoxious, like we're probably just gonna bop you real quick. Um, but we're having a conversation about veganism. So that's just that's just what the topic is. So anyone who's not aware knows. So um <clears throat> yeah, so so, uh, I guess we could just talk. Uh, did you watch this video or you just like watched like you skimmed it and then? No, I watched. Okay. So basically, sorry, man, I'm a little slow, so don't mind. <laughs> but, but listen, you were, but, you, you were here last time, were you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I might've been, I mean, I've been here for a long time. I've been, I've been around a, a while, a long time. I probably oh, okay. been before, you know, in and out, uh, I've been a soft years for a little bit, but, uh, yeah. So basically they were, they were saying that to grow crop or the ag- agriculture uh, is killing like pests and vermin or whatever. Uh, whatever fuck. Ted Nugent was trying to make a, an argument saying that. Uh, I, I think I know. I think I know where we're going. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. A, a big misconception is that people think that vegans are, are, are claiming to be perfect. And that yeah, is, exactly. that, that's, that's, that's false. So the whole thing is this, um, me, me, I'm a, I'm vegan. I've been vegan since 2000, uh, since May, 2015. And by me existing on this planet, I'm going to be the reason why things die. Uh, whether it be mosquitoes, uh, stepping on a cockroach, an ant, um, uh, through the crop process, uh, vermin get caught up in the machines. Uh, they die that way if that happens. Um, but veganism, the first thing people need to understand about veganism is they need to understand what the definition of veganism is. And the definition of veganism, I'm just going to read it right. Let's see here. Let me get my dictionary. <laughs> let me just. Uh, yeah, I, I see where you're coming so, from. When I was, no, 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 when I was let me watching, finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Go, go so veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation and cruelty to and cruelty to animals for food, food, clothing, or any other purpose. So it says it right there, as far as possible. So basically, um, you know what I mean? Like I I can't survive off air. I got to eat something. You know what I mean? So that's the whole, that's the whole thing. It's like, yes, things probably will die. Um, But it's making the best effort you can. And what people also need to realize and on that argument since he is a vermin activist it seems like and he cares so much about the vermin by him eating by him supporting the animal agriculture industry the animal uh the animals that are in the animal agriculture industry um if you live in the united states or europe or western civilization for the most part is what cows pigs chickens what else cows pigs chickens turkeys right Horse, shark well no things that people eat for the most part I know they eat that in different parts of the world. So cows eat, if people don't realize, there's 7.5 billion human beings on the planet. Everybody knows that, right? You guys all know that. They're, out of all the human beings, you add them all up, there's, there's 7.5 billion of us. Shit ton, yeah. Now, but at any given time, every single day of the year, there's 70 billion. So 10 times the amount of livestock on the planet. 
Those livestock need to eat something. So they eat those said crops. So if we cared so much about the insects and the, and the vermin and all that, we would actually be doing less harm because we would be eating way less crops than it takes to feed all of these all of these animals. A cow eats way more than you or I. A cow drinks about 41 gallons of milk per day. I'm sorry, water. A cow will drink 41 gallons of water per day. You or I drink about, you know, two liters, three liters uh, a gallon. So that's just a little perspective. See, a lot of people like to, you know, they, they like to, they like to play with the numbers. They like to, they like to play mental gymnastics. But when you just break it down, it's like, okay, so we're vermin activists now. Um, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill anything on this planet. Um, but that's that. kind of that's kind of where it stems from. So you just look at all the resources that we pour into uh, for uh, deforestation to create this land to grow crops to feed to factory farmed animals, which 90 percent, I want to even say 95 percent of the meat on this planet is factory farmed because it has to be factory farmed. There's not enough space to have free range cows, pigs, and chickens. There's just not enough space. So that's kind of, that's kind of, that, that's, that's my response to that I, dude's I, argument. I respect it. Cause, cause I watched the video. And I was like, this guy, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know where to look for other information, like your guys' sides. And I was just watching him. No, I understand. Like, okay. And then, and then Nick came to my head, hey, hit up CDN and see what he says. No, 100%. He, it seemed like he was like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. It's just, yeah. Like, it's just, like, well, you also like, another thing too. Like, you guys like, got to realize. He's like, I, I, I'm just gonna keep. I just want to say one more thing. My bad, guys. Another yeah. thing you guys got to realize is, the the animal agriculture industry is a multi trillion dollar industry. You understand what I'm saying? So, there is, there is a lot of money in this industry. It's nothing. It's nothing for a trillion dollar industry to chuck a couple hundred thousand dollars. Hey, come up with something. Say it. You know what I mean? Or, or just. You know what I mean? Twist this and tell us why eggs are healthy or, or why milk is healthy. And you get what I'm saying? There's, there's mm, way yeah, more, of course. there's way more money. Like, like I'm, I'm, I hate to break the news, but vegans aren't millionaires. Like we, I, I'm not making money, you know, sp spreading reality. You get what I'm saying? There's no, like, there's no incentive for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, so this is just, I'm just speaking what is, what um, is unless maybe you own a tofu farm or something, right? Yeah, if I own a tofu farm, I'm trying to sell <laughs> tofu and shit. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, and I might lose credibility because of that, but I'm just like a regular dude who ate more meat than anybody in here, more than like, yeah. most likely. I'm, I'm 6'5", 200, uh, 245 pounds. But before I went vegan, I was 278. And I ate just as much pizza, just as much chicken parm, just as much burgers and, 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 and hot dogs and steaks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just, yeah. just like you guys. There was nothing... It's, it's normalized. It's normalized in, our t in today's society. But then I recognized that what I was contributing to, and I realized that I, I'm educated enough and I'm going to use my brain and figure this out and do it another way. And I've been doing it perfectly fine. No problems for three years. But anyway, so hopefully that helped. Hopefully that answered that question for you. And uh, yeah, I just, I just want to see like point of view from a vegan because, mm -hmm. you know, he, that video is just up. Everyone's watching it, and then no one gets the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you don't know what no one knows where to search and shit. Kind of like, uh. Right, right, right. So it's cool to ask. Like I thought, eh, you know what? Yeah, yeah CDN. Cause I know, I know he likes vegan and shit. So that's cool. I, I I love my meat, but I I've been looking into the vegan lifestyle for for a little bit. Like <clears throat> interested poking it poking at it here and there. Yeah, and, and just yeah. for anybody that has to jet, um, if you do got a dip set, just. Do yourself a favor if you guys are in here because you're obviously interested. Check out my FAQ on the bottom of my Twitch. Watch all those videos. Come up with your own conclusions. Like, this isn't a community about me forcing anything down anybody's throat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to do that. You guys know that's not my style and I, I don't do that. I make my jokes about the vegan shit because it's funny and, you know, it's like it's, it's, it's just kind of part of my personality. Um, as far as like when I'm talking about like the plant based gang and like when people ask me, like, yo, you know, how are you streaming for so long? I'm like, yeah, vegan shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just all fun. But, if you guys are interested, check out the FAQ. And, um, <clears throat> and also there's an app. It's a free app called Happy Cow. And what's great about this app is it brings up all the local vegan restaurants in your area. So like if you're just curious, like one day, just whip up that app 
and go to a vegan restaurant and tell the waitress or waiter just to give you something like that they would recommend. Tell them like everything, like, you know, I'm not vegan. I don't really know what to eat. So like, give me the best that you got on the menu and see what you think. And that'll give you an idea of what's possible because a lot of people think that veganism is about like, you're going to lose all those comfort foods like ice cream and burgers and hot dogs. And I'm not saying that's what I eat all the time, but all of it still exists on a vegan diet is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, nice uh, cream is on point, boys. It's just, it's all there. So it's like you're not missing out on anything. But anyway, that's only if anybody has a jet. I just wanted to play, I just want to like let you guys know about that. And uh, it's a free app, and I think you guys will like it. Um, all right, cool. So let's, let's, uh, let's shoot. Uh, anyone else? I have a question. I, like, uh, as far as like the, the, the cost. Okay. How, how's the how's the cost like compare is it like is, sh is shit expensive for like tofu like you go to like whatever and um, right like is that something that's expensive or depends so like, so there's so that's lifestyle. the beautiful that's the beautiful thing about youtube is i don't mean to cut anybody else off right now guys i'm a little tired right now so i'm just want to just make sure you know what i mean the um the disrespect. Yeah. i mean i guess um so listen what i'm trying to say is um Hello? The, uh there's that's the beautiful thing about youtube like there's there's dozens and dozens and probably even hundreds of YouTube channels and they talk about that stuff. So <clears throat> veganism on a budget type stuff. Uh, you know, like there's like cool. people that, that you can go grocery shopping for $30 a week on a vegan diet and get all your complete proteins and all your calories and all your carbs and all that shit. Um, so if that's something, if you're really like, if, if you were really like a, a budget savvy and you had the, it's, it's all there. The cheapest foods in the world are rice and beans. You know what I'm saying? Um, yep. And the only reason why meat is cheap is because it's subsidized like crazy. It's subsidized. That's the only reason why meat is cheap. Because if 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 you think about it, there's a lot that goes into the process of making meat. But it's only cheap because the government subsidizes the cost to consumers. I, so, I, um, hello. I, yeah, bro, we're here. What's oh, up, Jesus? No, nah, he's probably just mic checking. Pack, pack. I just recently found out. You guys probably know all this, but I recently just found out that they just they in the meat they put dyes in the meat, like for the blood, blood. to look like it's fresh with blood. So I was, they got they had me fooled for a long time. They do a bunch <laughs> of shit, man. Bro, I'm like, wait, that's not blood. Like, nah, yeah. man, that they put dyes in that shit or whatever to make it look. I'm like, what? Th Thirty fucking years. Right. Man, I, mean, it's, I mean, when like, you eat a burger. Fuck? When you eat a burger, there's something like, I, I don't, I forgot the number, but there's, it's not just one. That oh, meat doesn't come from one cow. That comes from multiple cows, like different cows in one meat patty. That's just how they process it. So like you're getting multiple, uh, animals. I mean, you know what it's like what a hot dog is. It's just like everything. Oh, right. hot, hot, supposedly hot dogs. Oh, yeah, hot they fucking. Yeah, I heard what hot dogs were. I really rarely eat those now. Yeah, well, it's like that with a lot of things. Like uh, because of C's, I was vegan for almost two years, and then my ex screwed that up. But uh, I mean, there's a lot of things. Like there's cookbooks and all kinds of stuff that, that'll just explain certain things to you. But when you actually start breaking down and doing research and using that FAQ that C's made, uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that will just turn you off of certain foods because you're like, oh. That's what they do. Like prime example, ground beef. If you go to the grocery store and you look at like spaghetti meat or just ground beef in general, if it's pink, don't go for it. Because what they do is they take the moldy meat, cycle it back through the grinder to try and scrape off the crap that's on it and put it back out there again. Like it's the, the meat industry as a whole is just oh, disgusting. That's that's nice to know. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's some things out there, guys. Just a uh, Google would, you know, yeah. The the, the milk stuff. It's crazy. Oh, we don't sell with the milk. God. That shit is. Oh my I'll never god. Drink milk again. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't. I don't do milk. Yeah, yeah, I don't do milk. Milk stuff. Oh my god. I try oh, my hardest not, to, not to drink milk. I be, <laughs> I drink this shit. Yeah. Fucking hell. So um yeah like uh as far as like you know going back to the price thing like once you know you know I I can you know I'm pretty sure you guys can take me to a non-vegan restaurant and we'll you know we'll walk out that restaurant with a two hundred three hundred dollar bill. You get what I'm saying? Like, cause I, I was, I lived that lifestyle before. So like going to a steakhouse, like steaks aren't cheap. You get what I'm saying? So 
it's like it's it, it goes both ways, man. It's a, you know you could buy expensive shit on a non-vegan diet, and you could also buy expensive shit on a vegan diet. But people they just want to cling on to something because people don't like change. People want to have an excuse, yeah. and so they're like, ah, veganism is expensive. Yeah, I can never do it. Meanwhile, they're walking around with four hundred pair, four hundred dollar pair of Jordans. You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of inconsistencies a lot of going like on. Um, you know, so like to me, that whole shit is just bullshit. And on top of that, like I said, man, rice, beans, farmer's market, like what? Like it's, it's, if you really want to eat super healthy, whole foods and cheap, so, you can easily do it. So easily you're eating good it. as a vegan. You, you're telling me you're eating the good as a vegan. You I'm, good? I'm eating better than I've ever eaten in my life. Of course. Yes. Yeah. That's one thing, one thing, one thing, thing it's about, it's one thing about being vegan is you're going to make sure like. You know, you're, you know, you're going to make sure like that you're eating good because, yeah. you know, like you may have certain cravings like, damn, I miss a burger. So like, for example, like my wife will get pretzel buns. She'll get pretzel buns. She'll get beyond meat patties. She'll get um, some vegan cheese. We'll get some pickles. We'll get all the dressings. We'll take a potato, chop it up, bake the, uh, make some potato wedges, get some ketchup, get some pop, boom, comfort food, uh, burger and fries. Like every now, now what is what is vegan cheese? Cheese? How do they make? Do you know how they make that? How how's that? Made? I mean, it's just like, it's made. It, they, it, they, it, they derive it. There's different. There's different types of styles. They can make it from soybeans. They can make it from almonds. They can make it from cashews. That's crazy. And uh, it's just yeah. It's just it's the that's same fucking, process. It's the same process, but just with plant based instead of. But what's the app called? Again? The app is called Happy Cow. Yeah, again, sorry for my ignorance. I just I, I'm pretty new to this, so I I got. I'm pretty sure you were here more, last time. More, I got. I, I got to recognize your voice. No, I wasn't. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I was. I I was never here. Uh, talking about no. maybe like a long time ago, a long ass time ago. I was chilling oh, okay. for a little bit. But, okay. Uh, cool. I've been here recently. Yeah. I got you. Um. All right. Cool. Cool. Shoot, boys and girls. I mean, I'm just here as backup, sis. <laughs> backup. What's I'm trying late? to think if I have any questions. I just don't want to ask me questions. And you're like, fuck this guy. Well, maybe no, no, maybe. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I am no, I, like now. Now I feel like I don't want. Uh, I've, been, I've been vegan for three years, man. I've heard it all. I'm not. Uh, I've the thing is, the advantage that I have versus um, in this conversation is I've lived both sides. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so yeah, you know both sides. Huh? I've had all yeah, I I that's the thing. Like I know both sides. I know my body, I know I know how big I am, I know my 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 calorie uh requirement every you know, every day in order to sustain my size. And you're telling me without a doubt you feel a lot you feel a lot, lot better. Like are you feeling better on, on a vegan diet? I mean within a week I felt a lot better for me and being food like crazy. I felt like a high type of thing. You feel it pretty quick. So here's yeah, the thing. Really? Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to see a lot of people realize this, but Oreo cookies are vegan. Oreo cookies are vegan. There's no animal byproducts in an Oreo cookie, but that doesn't mean you can eat Oreo cookies and be like, I'm vegan. I'm so healthy. No, you're going to feel like shit. Healthy. You're going to feel like yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you, just because you're vegan doesn't mean you are a, a staple of health. It happens to be easier being vegan because you're less likely to just get like that urge and go to Mickey D's and get a fucking uh, double quarter pounder with cheese and fries and a, and a soda. Now, instead, you'll probably go to Taco Bell and get a, a bean burrito with rice. And if you think about it, bean burrito, tortilla, flour, rice, whole food, bean, whole food, guacamole, avocado, corn, whole food. You see what I'm saying? So like you, you make better choices. Mm. And on, Yo, top of that, of like, that. on top of that, for, for us, it's like we always have food in the pantry. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we're just always ready for, for whatever. Like, so like I'll be hungry. Like, whereas before I go to Mickey D's, I'll go to KFC, I'll go to Wendy's and it's just like, wham, bam. Thank you, man. Some fucking guys making my food. It's, it's, it's crazy when you really think about how fast they prepare all this shit and, you, and then you just stuff it down your fucking throat and it's wild. But now like I opt for like, I feel like my palate is increased. I feel like I have more of a range and I, I just appreciate and I could taste different things. And, um, I just, I, I enjoy it. I, I thoroughly enjoy the food that I eat now. And for me going from 278 to 228, 278, in two months, damn. I went from two, 278 to 228 when I first went vegan. And then I kind of started gaining weight again. 
and I went to, and I kind of, I'm at the same weight now. I'm like 245, 250 now. So what, the path I was headed down, which is the same path, a lot of the men in your family, a lot of your moms, uh, everyone, you, 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 we all have this issue. There's someone, everyone in here has somebody with either cancer, with heart disease, with diabetes, right? We all do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody in the family, yep, right? Yep, yep, yep. Where does that, all of these cancers, uh, diabetes, um, and uh, heart disease, yep. those, a lot of them are diet related illnesses. So it's what we're putting in our body. And then the pharmaceuticals love it because they want to, what do they want to do? They want to give us a pill. But we can just cure our bodies with nutrition. So you could be super fucking healthy and eat a whole food plant based diet. Me, I wish I wish I did eat nothing but whole food plant, but like mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, you know, I'm fucking streaming fucking 18 hours a day. I get a little lazy sometimes and you know what I'm saying? But I'm still doing better. But I overall feel great. I think, you know, um, I think I've already proved that to a lot of you guys. I mean, you've a lot of you've been following me for a long time. Like you would know if I, I was malnourished in something. I remember the bologna <laughs> sandwich days. Mal, malnourished. Let me make you a sandwich. Let me make you a sandwich. Just every five seconds, bologna sandwiches left and right. That was the day, but now it's like, hold on, let me eat these. Uh, let me eat these cashews. Oh, well, Christina bringing me beans. Oh, GG. Like, it's it's a very big difference compared to how it used to be with C's. Right. Making me hungry every time it brings a fucking smoothie on stream. God damn it! Now I want a smoothie. That was another thing. Like, you just you don't realize how much you can actually eat, and it's vegan. It's like. A smoothie, just a single like smoothie. You throw what is it? Some uh, some strawberries, some bananas, a scoop of peanut butter, some almond milk, and you got yourself a smoothie that's you know what three four hundred calories. That's that's a meal. So it's like it, it works. So what what are easy foods to start with? Because I've tried it for for two days and I gave up only because yeah. I felt my body was like I'm so. I don't know. I, I didn't have energy the next day right. that I, that I so woke big, up. Right. A big problem, a big problem with uh, new vegans is, um, well, again, like just keep in mind, like you attempting and you trying and, you know, you make them, you, let's say you eat something that has like an animal byproduct in it. That's not the end of the world, you know, for you because you're, this is your transitioning phase. Like you're learning. <laughs> and, um, you know, like I said, like when I first went vegan, I probably, was I, I actually know I was making mistakes. Like I may maybe be eating some crackers and then in the, I didn't realize like there was casein in it. And then I'm like, oh shit, casein's actually um, protein derived from cow's milk. They put that shit in everything. Um, really? So, oh, yeah. yeah. Casein, yeah, casein is an animal animal protein. Uh, like you, said it, you said it was in crackers? I, yeah, not all crackers. Crack, I'm just giving you an example. Oh, so, check mine. So the point I'm trying to make is like, it's okay if you make mistakes and just, you just do your best. Um, as far as quick snacks go, what I eat, like I could basically tell you pretty much what I eat. Like I always have like some oat bread on deck, peanut butter, put some banana slices on there, sprinkle some cinnamon, toasted, boom, bang, done. Uh, I'll have almonds, grapes, uh, like a, like a glob of peanut butter. Boom. I'll make a fucking crazy. I make mad different types of smoothies. Um, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll buy like some tofu uh, deli slices and some to and, and and um and some uh, cheese and like if I ever want a, a sandwich and I'll buy a pickle and I can kind of have that sandwich vibe. I don't eat it all the time, but it's a nice little treat when I feel like just making a quick sandwich. Throw some just mayo on there, which is not Hellman's mayonnaise, but it's just mayo, which is vegan mayonnaise. Um, they don't advertise it as vegan mayonnaise or anything like that, but it's it's just it's actually vegan mayonnaise because all veganism is is just no animal byproducts. That's it. Um, so like a lot of cereals that you guys eat is, is, uh, vegan, like uh, peanut butter, Captain Crunch, uh, um, uh, pretty sure Cocoa Puffs is vegan. I mean, it's a lot of, it's already vegan. Um, you just, you know, replace the milk with almond milk, hemp milk, uh, rice milk, uh, oat milk, whatever milk you like. And then that'll be your new milk. And you can still have all your cereals that you typically have, but just read the, you'll read the, the nutritional label in the beginning and you'll start to realize like, oh, okay. I, this is easy. But what I do is like, I'll just Google shit if I'm not sure. So if I see like a weird thing in there and then what's crazy about it is you start to realize like, damn, there's mad fucking chemicals in this shit that I've been eating this whole time. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? What is this? What is yellow Lake 46? Like what? Like you start to realize all these things. Um, so it makes you just more conscious of the shit you put in your body. 
That's a big fact. That's a huge fact. Um, so yeah, man. Um, like you can go to Chipotle. You can, uh, you know, if you're just like on the road and you just needed something real quick and you want, if you need to go to Burger King, you can go to Burger King, pick up yourself a fucking uh, large fry. You know what I mean? And just like, just to kind of like, you know, satisfy you real quick. If you're like in a rush and you're hungry or something like that, but Taco Bell's great for, uh, for vegan options. White Castles is great. White Castles has three vegan burgers. They have the Impossible Burger, they have the Black Bean Burger, and they have the Veggie Slider, all vegan. And their mm -hmm. bread is vegan. And uh, the pickles, ketchup, and then just don't get the sauce, and you're good to go and get fries. And like, if I'm not, I'm not telling you like, guys, this is the staple. Eat this food. I'm telling you like, you know, I know how we are. Like, we're we're, we're raised in this society where this fast food is the options and all these things. Um, but you know, have I always have like on hand like some almonds, walnuts, cashews, some dates, um, bananas. Always have fruit. Um, you know, uh, oatmeal in the morning with uh, blueberries, uh, and then oh, of course whatever my like. I had today. I ate. I had uh, mac and cheese, but it was vegan mac and cheese that my, my that my wife makes, and she put broccoli in there, and she also threw um, gardein, which is a meat substitute. So if you're looking for like a meaty type of texture, you could still reach all of that stuff very easily on a vegan diet. That's just that's just an example. That's just like. Um, just like real quick, right off the top. You get what I'm saying? But there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more diversity. It's just like, you know, if you just, just look look into it. Yeah, you're, talking, hey, uh, you're talking about... Go, go ahead, a lot, sorry. A lot of people got kicked out. Do you want to bring him back in? Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah I was, the other day, I was looking into the old milk you were talking, because you were talking about it in the stream the other day. Because I don't want to be using regular milk. So I want something in, like in my coffee. Other than regular milk? Oh, you want almond milk? Almond milk. Almond, yeah. Almond milk's yeah. the best. It's so good. Bro, yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, the there's so milk many, is good. There's so many different types of uh, my personal favorites. I hope chocolate are, almond milk, man. Yeah, I fuck with the chocolate stuff, too, and I throw that in my coffee, so it gives a nice little uh, flavor. Um, I fuck with Oatly. Oatly is by far my, my favorite oh, plant-based yeah. milk. Oatly, yeah, that's, that's, what was, that's what I saw when I looked it up. That was a that's the brand, right? Oatly. Oat yeah. Yeah, o that's the brand, right? Yeah. 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 That's, the, that's the one that I, I like putting in my cereal. Oh, that's that motherfucker. So it right had, it's like sweet, right? A little bit. Yeah, it's it is. Like a little sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta check that yeah. out. But it's also it it, it's also one of the milks that that and soy milk really replicate. Like if you like if you if you're used to drinking like whole milk, uh mm -hmm. that's a really good that and soy milk and ripples good too. Ripples actually milk yep. de derived from peas so it has just as much protein it has less saturated fat than regular milk it's just a healthier milk it's crazy like a, it's and crazy also too, like, like, fellas, like I don't, I don't think too fellas about the whole milk thing you know <laughs> like it's it's just ridiculous with the whole milk thing milk should, um, milk is the easiest one to fucking get rid yeah, of and replace really easy. and you it. start and then like fellas like you don't want to be drinking anything with est estrogen in it and there's different types of estrogen. There's, there's, you know, you are not wanting to get that hormone that's coming from a female mammal in a male's body as, as a grown-ass man. You do not want that. that so up, right? when people want to talk shit, like, just do your research <laughs> about it. Do some research about it. I can tell you right now, you, that's not what you want. I don't care if we evolved to drink it. Uh, and and some, people, um, some people can digest it just fine. But there's a reason why people are, are lactose intolerant. Because it's fucking cow's milk. <laughs> like, why not, not pig's like, milk? Why not human, horse's milk? The, the human body doesn't, it can't, like, uh, yeah, so a lot of people are lactose tolerant, right? Right. Yep. Because yep. the human body is like, it's not built for it. Yep. At the, at the end of the day. Some shit like that, yeah. Another thing, this it's, is going to be a little, this is going to be a little off, off, um, off top, I'm not off topic, but a little, might be some, is it, uh, a little off putting for some of you guys, but. When I wasn't vegan, I kid you not, I was shitting once every three, four days. Holy wow. <laughs> That's very and, But no, but here's the whole thing. Here's the whole thing. My mom was the same way. Uh, my aunts were the same way. My sisters were the same way. So I thought that was just normal. Uh, and, and, um, 
And like, I would remember talking to my boys and my, my boys would always be shitting all like, they would, they would tell me like, yo, you <laughs> and, uh, know you're close. Hold on. Let me tell my best friend I'm on the toilet right now. But, uh, but, uh, fucking bro, the moment I went vegan, I, I shit every single day. I don't miss a fucking single day of a fucking high quality shit. That's good, man. <laughs> Pixel. Yeah, I, I got it. I, I shit every day, but I still have stomach issues. So someone's in the shower. I think it's uh, who was it? I, I think he fixed it. It was Pixel. Pixel, Pixel. Tatsugashi. Yeah. Yo, fast. What's up? What's up? What's up, baby? I miss you, dude. I know you do. Is the guy? Is the guy <laughs> who said that he felt uh, a little weak when he started doing the vegan diet? Is he still That's because he yeah. cut out. Cut I'm out here. I'm here. I'm here. Cut, cut out everything. You don't have to do it all in one day. Just like start replacing stuff slowly like, yeah yeah, yeah. Starts, yeah. You know, your body is gonna good. hate you at first it's gonna be like yo we've been eating hey. like this our entire life why change it now so yeah, that's what there's a little change, bit of an yeah. adjustment i mean for yeah. me for me for me it wasn't really like that personally like i immediately started feeling amazing yeah i did i my, my sister just told me she showed me some info and she's like i'm not gonna push you but just look at this info and i was like a carnivore and then i and then i watched it i watched the videos i watched the stuff and then the same week i stopped eating meat fish everything i just stopped and i haven't it's been three years my diet consisted of uh, a whole lot of soda and lunchables i was a over glorified 10 year old when it came to my diet so of course i got kicked right in the dick when i went vegan but it's just it's an adjustment like like anything when you make a big change you got to get used to it yeah when you guys get a chance that's um there's a psychologist who who uh, made a video Oh, that's an amazing about, video. About, check it out. Uh, yeah, that one. about the reasons why we eat meat. And I think it's a it's it's an eye opener, like a motherfucker. It's like the psychological reasons why we eat meat and why we eat some animals and think it's wrong to eat other animals. But hey, I mean when you guys have time, that's a that's a really good um that's some really good uh that's it's a really good video. But uh somebody was saying, uh, oh yeah, so so they have something called the twenty two day vegan challenge. And it's something that I that I didn't even have when I went vegan. I, I'm I'm I just went. I'm the type of guy that goes cold cold turkey. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I, go right I away. Rob dog that shit. I yeah. I just go right in. You know what I'm saying? And learn as I go type of thing. Not everybody's like that, and that's okay. That's completely okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not all. Not everybody in here will probably go vegan, but at least you guys have the information. You guys, something inspired you guys to come in here. And for the most part, if you're in this room, you're an open-minded individual. So that says a lot about you right out, right out the gate. So, you know, you do your own research, you know, um, you guys are always more than welcome to hop into the hashtag plant-based gang, chop it up, ask questions. You know, it's always positive. No, nothing's ever forced upon anybody. Come up with your own conclusions. That's, that's how I personally spread the word of veganism. I'm not telling, you know, shoving down, shoving anything down anybody's throat, but I give people like a little insight on my life. Um, and some things that I realized that I was being a hypocrite for and you know and then it's up to you to make your own decisions and live your own life you know yeah every time I've been in your stream and you talk about veganism I don't I don't feel like you're pushing on people and stuff so I feel like he, def know, he definitely don't that's what's so dope nah, about yeah. nah I never I never got that impression or nothing so He's also has that clean inventory of cookbooks too at his disposal to <laughs> <laughs> be like yo you guys want a cookbook? Let me uh, let me give you this list of twelve cookbooks to make you eat good. <laughs> but nowadays, because we got YouTube, man. Oh man, it's so it's so easy. But yeah. the twenty two day vegan challenge is great because it's a group, so it's a whole bunch of non vegans trying veganism together, and you guys are in a group and you're communicating. I believe it's via a Facebook group, and um, you have a question like, "Yo, I'm at the fucking uh, I'm at Chipotle. What the fuck do I get?" or all right, guys, I'm at Costco. Um, a little confused. I'm used to eating this. I'm used to eating that. What do I get? And then they're hitting you with like all the information. It's just like at your disposal. And it's so popular that there's a waiting list for it. It's not just like, like you have to wait to get into this group, but it's free. But, you know, like it's a very supportive a network of people, basically fucking like vegan experts and shit you know what i mean helping people out which will make things so much easier so especially the guy who was really hungry you were hungry because you weren't eating enough you gotta eat bob you know what i'm yeah. saying Dang, that was my eat. problem mm -hmm. i mean your diet might be just completely 
uh, non-vegan. Like you, you might not just eat any vegetables, and when you try to transition, it's like impossible for you. But as far as like uh, the type types of vegan people, man, all walks of life. Uh, we got a couple of cops in the community that are vegan. Um, a couple of athletes. The um, Diaz brothers. <laughs> You got, you got, yeah, you got all types of professional athletes. Like you're not missing out on any type of efficiency. And I mean, if you just look, a lot of people like to look at nature. Okay. Let's look at nature. You know what I mean? A lot of people like to talk about the lions, tigers, and bears, but what about the biggest, the biggest land animals, the strongest land animals on the, on planet earth are herbivores. Think about it. Rhinoceros, elephant, hippos, gorillas, right? They're the strongest. So you're not missing out on protein. Don't fall into that little trap like, oh, protein, though. It's like, okay, calm down, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Calm down. There's plenty of fucking protein. Because we're going to that. Right. I actually heard about Arnold talking about veganism, and he was was pretty positive about it. Right. There's a great documentary. Any of you sports guys or, like, really into your, like, fitness and stuff like that, um, there's a great documentary coming out called um, Game Changers. Um, which I highly, which is, which people are talking very highly of. I haven't seen it yet because it hasn't came out yet, but um, they basically follow around vegan athletes and ask them, you know, see how they perform and like they do different types of blood tests and all types of scientific stuff that they're going to go over in this documentary. But you just look for yourself, like John Venus, you know, there's, there's huge fucking vegans. Like there's strong men that are vegan. Like world record holding strong men that are vegan. They're not strong men anymore because you know they're older and they're getting older, but they broke records and hold records to this day. And they did it on a vegan diet. So it's possible. It's more than possible. Seems like it's being more and more accepted. Like what, like 10, 15 years ago, if you mentioned oh, vegan, motherfuckers be like, Well, what? Right. You probably don't understand, like didn't even know what it was, like pretty much. Right. Like, so uh, it seems like it's uh, catching on and people are getting more into it and being more understanding and shit, which is cool. Now, now like which I am, I'm, no, my bad. I don't mean to cut no, you guys I'm, off a little bit, man. I'm just no, kind of no, like, I know, I, I know you're probably tired, man. Go ahead. No, no, no I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I was going to say like now one thing, the crazy thing that turned me into like what turned me onto veganism was my health. But what keeps me vegan is the animals 100% because I made a connection with the animals ever since I went vegan. Um, like within a couple of weeks, just doing research and you start to realize like, yo, like it's really fucked up what we do to these animals and they don't have the luxuries that human beings have. Like human beings, we have it fucking made. We got TV, we got entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mean, you know, I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but I mean, you could go to a fucking club and fuck that same day and like, you know what I mean? And <laughs> come on, you know what I mean? Like we got it fucking made, bro. We got it made as a human, as a, as a, you know, we can go to the movies, you know what I'm saying? Like. And animals just want to be fucking animals and live in the wild. And you know what I'm saying? But they're fucking slaves on this planet. They're actual slaves. And if you have any compassion in your heart for dogs, cats, hamsters, those, you know, the, the, the animals that, you know, we view as pets, they're literally the same as a cow, pig, and a chicken. Those cows are goofy, just like your goofy ass dog. Um, those pigs want to play. They'll fucking roll around and they'll juke you out. Like, you know, you know how dogs juke you out and shit? Pigs will do the same exact thing. Pigs are actually proven to be smarter than dogs. So imagine that. Uh, something as intelligent as your dog, if not smarter, they know exactly what the fuck is up when they're going to those slaughterhouses and they're smelling that blood and they're hearing their brothers and sisters scream, getting gassed, getting their throats slit. Like that is, and then on top of that, we do this because we do this when they're six months years old. They're six months. You get you getting deep on me, CD. What I'm trying to tell you is like what people, what people don't realize. <laughs> but this is but this is the connection you no, make. It's true though. It's true. You're right. I, I love animals, man. I love animals. Uh, so I'm a big animal lover, and it's sad to see all that shit. Like, and I know I eat meat, and it's like, fuck, man. Like, every time I eat a burger, I'm like, motherfucker. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> so it's got you know. It's like I bite that burger. I'm like, you son of a bitch. This is actually like, you know. So. Oh yeah, I hear you 100. Yeah, percent I I understand where you're coming from a thousand percent, and I and I I always I, every day I like think about it and shit. And that's why I, like I've been more and more opening up to being a vegan and shit. And you know someday someday I'll probably switch to be honest, not too probably not too often, but yeah, it's a thing, you know, because I understand, man. Like I have a dog and stuff, and, so and let, I, let I, me, I you know like the pigs and stuff. I don't look at any difference and shit. So go ahead, sorry, see. 
So check, take a look at this. It's, it's not, it's not a high, it's not a high death picture, but I just posted it in the viewers chat. You see, um, each year over a billion land animals are slaughtered in Britain, regardless of how they were raised. This is just Britain alone or whatever. They're talking about Britain. Um, but this is standard because this is a business. The, the animal agriculture industry is a business. So chickens for meat can live up to eight years old. They can live up to eight years, but they're slaughtered for at six weeks. So think about it. The sooner, the sooner they jack these animals up and get them as big as they can get them and kill them, the more profit they gain off of it. Because the longer the animal lives, the more resources they have to put into the animal, the more money they have to spend. Everybody understands that basic concept, right? Turkeys, eight to 26 weeks. Pigs, six months, but they can live up to 15 years. Chickens that lay eggs, because they lay it's eggs, fucked. they get to live one to two years. It's fucked up. Dairy cows can live up to 20 years. And they live the five years. And then at the end of their life, they get slaughtered. So think about this. Cows don't produce milk on their own. Mammals only produce milk when they're pregnant. So these animals get impregnated. They get their babies taken from them. Okay. Have you guys ever tried to touch with puppies around the mother? How distressed that makes the dog? I've, I've heard this before. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. It's the same they, thing. Yeah, they, so so they, we can drink that milk. So like this is just, these are all the numbers. Like you, you can do your own research and... They don't let these animals live their full lifespan before they kill them. So well, they basically they basically make the like the cows make milk for the re for, until they get like slaughtered or whatever, right? They they basically we, just make yeah. milk for the rest of their lives and shit. Right. And yeah, it's not. And I heard like so, the like the the nipples or whatever get like because the cups are on them all the time and it gets all sore and shit constantly. I mean, and it gets, and that's that gets worse than that. If you start to, that's fucking into it, the federal drug administration has like a limit to how much like blood and pus you can have in milk because of that, because of how they're just consistently milking cows and it does damage to the body. And that's why they only live so long. Like the whole it's thing fucked is fucked. It is man. It really is. I'm gonna say, even if you're not gonna go vegan, just cut out milk. Cause like I had like uh, acne problems my whole life. As soon as I cut out milk, my skin cleared up like ten times, way better. No, I haven't so, been. Like, I haven't... Anybody with that issue? It's crazy, cause like growing up, like milk does the body good and it's perfect and this and that. Like yeah, in school, that's it's, all it's we get like, for Milk lunch, does the body. Yeah, you know? like but, yeah, bro, I, I guess it's just it's it's all companies stop, push it do it. money, man. Yeah, it's I mean, bro, you got you got athletes ass. drinking Sprite. Like, you got world class athletes thinking Sprite. You really think they drink Sprite at the game? Fuck no. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that LeBron James <laughs> doesn't actually drink Sprite at a fucking basketball game? Sees, you're lying to me. There's no way. So like, it's all it's all money, it's man. These, it's all it's money. these mo money hungry motherfuckers. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, they Business push it is driven by money. I mean, basically, if you're gonna get paid, you're gonna get paid for doing something. So it's, it's I, like. They don't care what they're advertising. They're just getting paid. And my, my, you know, my, I guess money could be the root of evil and shit. I mean, well, well the thing is. is this, man. I look, I view money, I view money as, I view money at, you know, you could view money as, as a tool, or you can view it as a brick. You know, what I'm saying you could take that brick right and throw it through a, a, a business window, and damage that building, or you could take that brick and build a hospital. So. That's the thing about veganism, and people think like, oh, but what, what's one vegan going to do? Bro, uh, the consumers have all the power. We are the consumers. We decide what the suppliers make. You get what I'm saying? Free market, so man. that's why you go to Walmart right now, and you see soy milk, and you see almond milk, and you see rice milk, and you see coconut milk. That's why you, you go to Walmart right now, guys. Not no specialty vegan health food store. Walmart will have Gardein, vegan uh, we'll have meat substitutes like it's like it's all about supply and demand you get what i'm saying so we're you know so the more vegans there are the more demand there is for vegan products yep. and the cheaper vegan products become as well so it's just it's all there it's all there when you put it all together and you we're just, almost built in a day right and, and and that's why that video of that that fucking ted guy kind of pissed me off because like i was watching i was like man this, this is like there's more to it than what he's just saying right that's why i came here because i was really interested that's why like yeah, I, was yeah, really, yeah. I was like okay. right and it, and it pisses me off that like everyone's gonna watch that and 
people aren't gonna be like, hmm, is, is he like? Let me go, let me go find out. Let me go talk to people to see if, like if this is right. See what they got to say. Like this, this, this is on World Star. Everyone's gonna watch it and it's gonna poison people's minds and shit. Yeah, it's first of all that's fucking World Star number one. And I know what you're saying, but the thing is, like, you can't hide the truth forever. You get what I'm saying? You got you got some people who are really adamant, uh, uh, really on their anti-vegan shit, and like that's that could be something that they're dealing with on a personal level, like. They, they're feeling a certain type of way. So they want to defend what they've been doing or what they've been taught to do their whole entire life. But I can tell you right now that if you take a, 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 a three-year-old baby and you put him in a cage with a bunny and some berries and some strawberries, that three-year-old baby is not going to start munching instinctively on that bunny. You guys get what I'm saying? You do the same thing with an actual, with a true carnivore, with a, with an alligator or a tiger, or um, or a lion, at three months at, at three months old, they're going to attack that thing. They're going to attack it instinctively when they're hungry. But I guarantee you that little that little three year old human baby will put fucking grapes in their mouth before they'll fucking put a fucking bunny in their mouth. You guys get what I'm saying? So yeah, like, I see it, this. Yeah. It, I see what it's saying. it's like. I mean, I know, I'm pretty sure there's people here like, okay, sees, can we talk about ancestors? Can we talk about cavemen? And all? Yeah, and I can answer all those <laughs> questions for you guys. And, uh, but I just want to give you guys a little perspective. You know what I'm saying? But, but make sure you guys watch this Carnus video. This Carnus video is really good. Yeah, I got to check that out. I got to check that out. That shit is dope. I'm going to watch know, it. I'm kind of curious to see how Rogan actually responded to Ted well, Nugent. That, well, that's what, that's, Ted Nugent you didn't watch that, it? Is that, no. uh, Ted Nugent, Ted Nugent is a very uh, peculiar guy, and he's not uh, anti-vegan. His son is vegan. It's, it's just that his, his position is so peculiar that people, and he's so close to the line of, of being morally right, because he, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's really close to the vegan line in that sense. So people just see the guy, and he's, he's like shitting on a little, like the, the podcast, he was shitting on vegans for a little while. So they, they, they see that in, in, in a sort of a way of looking at uh just looking at it as okay so this is justifiable to not not like vegans for some reason because this guy's so close to the line that if he says it's, it's they're dumbasses for for being vegans because they you they slaughter they, you have to slaughter a bunch of shit for uh in the fields for for vegans then that's the whole the whole thing about the what you're talking about I mean, you also got to take it with a grain of salt because it is JRE. You know, it is a Joe Rogan experience. Right. So, so there's so, only so much that you can really agree with or not agree with. So that's the thing. Joe, I felt like wasn't very. He was just like, "Oh yeah, you're 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 saying the truth." Instead of being, "Whoa, let me no, step Joe, back. Let me Joe let's think like about against, this." He's no. against veganism. It's a show. Is he? No, yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't know anything. He, he, he doesn't know anything. He's, he's yeah. ignorant on it. He's not is against he, it. He's he's, he's spoken it. before. He's he has time made up. But he's he's trying to he he he's a, he's a no. He's not a he's not a complete anti for that. For it might you might get you sound like a robot. Well, he he was saying that he's him? not okay. completely against it. He's an open minded person because you know he is. It, it's he'll shit on certain things because he'll sit there and talk about hunting elk and hunting bear and then turn around and have a vegan on the podcast the next week. So it's like you never really know where his mind is. But again, at the end of the day, it is an entertainment based. Yeah, exactly. Right. Media. So he's going to bait the story regardless of what his of view is on it. And if Ted Nugent's going off on a tangent, then sure, you know, Rogan's going to poke the bear. He's going to see how far he can get him to go. He did the same thing when, uh, what's his face, uh, Alex Jones was on the podcast. Like, it, it's you poke, you, you poke your guest to get the best response possible, to get the most views, to get what? The most money. So at the end of the day, you know. That was, gotta, that was, that was a bit fucked up. Result. That was a bit fucked up when he did to Alex Jones. And then he just. Put, he just freaking tossed him under the fucking bus. Listen, when he got, he got Alex Jones super fucking high and super fucking drunk. Yeah. And then he just went off talking about interdimensional aliens, okay? Like, again, it's the Joe Rogan experience. Like, it's just, it's a form of entertainment media. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So let's get back on topic. Um, But yeah, I mean, the, the best thing to do, guys, is always, always come up with your own conclusions. Do your own research. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See both sides of the spectrum, both sides of the story, and then you know it, it'll it, it will naturally it'll come to you, and you'll realize come, it'll come together. I think um, the reason will just be objective. I think the the biggest thing for me is I I've, 
like it was like a couple months ago i fucked around i was like c's went offline and i was like fuck it let me watch these videos because c's isn't here anyways literally had no intention of making a vegan choice the next day but i watched all these videos and the biggest thing that like that helped me on my process and becoming a I guess 100 percent which is like the clothing things that i'm just trying to transition into there's a one of the videos on his facts is there's this, a british guy on a talk show and he sits next to this farmer and uh the biggest thing that like after watching all these videos him sit next to this farmer and he asked him two times like is it but is it morally right and the guy doesn't answer twice he just completely ignores him and after you watch these videos of the way these animals are treated and the way these workers like just and this is a little grotesque like beat baby animals against walls and stuff like that like you have to all the health benefits for me are like are perks but you have to really believe in like the morality behind what people are doing to create this industry of meat and i think that's uh that's what the biggest thing that i latched on to that uh helped me in my process for anybody who else is like kind of like still wondering or confused no, well said, man. Well said. And like, uh, that's, that's exactly what like locked me in for good. And like, there's no way, I mean, the only possible way I'll ever like eat meat again is if I'm in a zombie apocalypse situation and it's actually a survival situation. 100%. Because that's the only time it's necessary 100%. because that's the only time it's necessary. So that's why when people, you know, Oh, what about lions? You think a lion's going to let you live? Seize? no, that lion's going to fuck me up because that lion <laughs> is wild. That is a wild animal. I am not a wild animal. I am I am one of the most intelligent species on this planet and I'm making an intelligent decision not to needlessly contribute to something that harms innocent beings. It's very simple. It's it's very basic. It's the fundamentals. It's like, yo, just let the motherfuckers live, bro. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying, oh, we can free all the fucking animals. No, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be a a gradual shift, a gradual change. Veganism will start to become more and more normalized. You guys will see in the years to come. You've been, you already see it. Somebody just mentioned yeah. earlier today. In the '90s, this was like what vegan? You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, vegan. Yeah. back then, dead ass. Yeah. I, I speak to vegans, and I speak to vegans that have been vegan for years, and they said that the food is nowhere near what it used to be back then. Oh, you're talking about the you know meats and stuff? Yeah, of no, course. Just all like the meat because, because, oh, because oh, everything yeah. created. Everyone they learn and they create, and then it's like, bro, like. I can't tell you like like there's a banging ass spot. There's a couple banging spots in Jersey. The way my wife be cooking sometimes, like yo, that shit I ate on stream the other night. She made me beyond uh, she made me beyond meat sausage uh, sausage rolls with uh, with uh, grilled peppers and onions, and she uh, made a macaroni salad, and she made Brussels sprouts, and that shit was unbelievable. It was yeah, unbelievable. It was like real barbecue also, type food. So. I got, I'm gonna have to get some recommendations from. There's you. a place called Veganize in New Brunswick. You should go. New Brunswick? No, I'm not too far from there. It's phenomenal. Can you drag in these other two people in Plant Vegas Gang? They're talking in the voice channel. I mean, yeah, thanks. So, um, yeah. Any other questions, guys? I'm pretty much. I got. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna research like on YouTube and stuff. So I, well, I appreciate. Bro, I mean, uh, start, your... start at the FAQ. Yeah, or I mean, FAQ, it's all there yeah. for you. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna warn. I'll tell you now. The Earthlings, um, the For Hope and Glory is graphic, but honestly, you know I mean? I've probably I've, I've probably seen some things before because like I've been watching like meat stuff, like you know, like right. the milk stuff and all that, and I've been slowly like getting into it a little by little. Right, right, and, right. Uh, it's kind of like damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I start yeah, to open a little bit, you know. Right. You're like, but as far oh, as shit. Like, as far as like people that are just really focused on their health right now, two easy and great docu documentaries. And when I mean easy, is like they're really obtainable. Um, uh, what the Health, it's on Netflix. So if you guys have Netflix, boom, you're good. Um, and uh, Forks Over Knives on Netflix. And it's, it just talks about a vegan lifestyle. It talks about, you know, the benefits of, of vegan food. And, um, you know, typically more, more, so more or less on a, um, on a whole food plant-based diet, but still like it gives you an idea of, you know, where you can take your health and how to prevent a lot of major diseases that kill human beings. The number one killer of human beings that kills more than any disease, any AIDS, any car accidents, any murder, homicide is heart disease. Heart disease 
is a diet related disease. It's because of all the cholesterol. It's because of all the saturated fat that we consume from eating animal proteins. Mm. Yeah. And there's different amino acids in the, 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 the amino acid profile. And I just recently discovered this in the amino acid profile of an animal protein. One of the, the, the amino acids are different levels of this amino acid in, you know, that makes up the protein. And one in particular, there's a ready, they, they linked it to cancer. They linked like, yo, this, this particular amino acid, um, is linked to certain cancers. So it's something to pay attention to. I mean, we see it. We already know what the fuck's going on. You know, it's not nat people talk about like, oh, it's not, na it's not natural to fucking take, uh, uh, fucking pills to reduce, um, I mean, take the fucking pill if the doctor's recommending you to take the fucking pill, but you should be doing your best to reverse whatever element you've acquired. You get what I'm saying? Like, do, do some work or take fucking mm -hmm. pills for the rest of your life, which is exactly what they want, or take your life into your own hands and do something about it. But um, all that aside, all that aside, like, uh, if you're looking for, like, numbers and what we're actually doing to the environment, it's like people don't even realize, like in one burger, that's 690 gallons of water. Dude, 690 gallons of water to produce one burger. And how we come up with that number is really simple. Think about the animal that burger comes from. It needs water, right, to drink. Remember, cows drink 41 gallons of milk, uh, water a day as they're, uh, you know, uh, from their, like, you know, you know, as they're growing. And think about the crops that we need to use water for, right? to graze those crops. You see what I'm saying? So this is how it all equates into four, this is how it all equates into 690 gallons of water for one, one piece of meat. Yeah. It's not efficient at all. And now you think about 7.5 billion people doing this and you start yeah. thinking about your babies and then your baby's babies. And you start thinking about global, like what the fuck is a 75? Why is it 75 degrees in, uh, in, in December? <laughs> like, what are we doing to our planet for real, for real? And Cal Spiracy talks about that shit. Cowspiracy talks about that shit. Cowspiracy? What, is that like a YouTube channel? No, so Cowspiracy. A Netflix documentary. A Netflix documentary. Oh, I know. I've never seen it. And um, as far as, and that's, that's kind of environmental. So boom, you got your health stuff, you got your environmental, none of it's graphic. Now the graphic shit, which if it's good enough for your stomach, it should be good enough for your eyes. That shit is earthlings. That shit is um, the Gary Yavorsky speech. There's only a small little segment. I love the Gary Yavorsky speech. It's really good. And there's only like a little bit of graphic stuff. But like I said, this is the shit we eat. So like we, we, you know, we, we, we owe it to ourselves to look exactly how this food is processed. What goes into this? How does this end up on my plate? Because a lot of people think it just magically appears in plastic wrap. You know what I mean? There's no suffering, you know? Cause if you look on, if you look on a milk carton, what do you see? You see a happy cow. Fucking cow's not happy getting their baby taken away from them. <laughs> you know, every yeah. single time. That's a well, miserable you know, and there's, 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 there's people that uh, really don't want, I mean, there's people that say that like all oh, animals are meant to be eaten and stuff. I hear that all the time. And so it's always like, oh, well. so it's, it's weird. It's weird how We're people think. Too, so that means we should be eaten. Yeah, I, I pretty much. But it's something like a, you hear, you know, it's like, what, what? Oh, um, a little advice for people. Cool. Um, try to play devil's advocate on veganism. Try to look for the weak spots or something, and you'll find that veganism is a really, really solid, like a, a, a really Lifestyle. solid stance. Yeah, it's super solid. It's really solid. So you can try. You you should you should try. You should try really hard to, like, look at all the weak spots, and you won't find any. So you, yeah, and you'll be convinced by the by the vegan argument. So you should you should try it. Hi everyone. Hey. Hello. Hey. I don't. Hey, uh, what plant based or what uh, plant based proteins uh, would you suggest to replace with like the animal proteins? I mean, you can get really creative, man. There's there's so many. Yeah, I'm just gonna hook you up a little bit one time for the one stickles. Um, trying to look for a good. If you want an easy solution, hemp milk is really good. It's got all the essential amino acids. Hold on, let's go right here. <clears throat> so this is just like a little a little image. I just put it in the viewage thing. 
So, you know, uh, the best, the best protein source that I personally found are lentils. Um, and it's fucking, it's it like pound for pound shits on what meat offers shits on it. It's way more nutrient dense than meat, uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, peanut butter, uh, lentils, tahini, almonds, pistachios, flax seeds, cashews, oats, soybeans, chia seeds, you know, all this right here. You can get protein in tofu, all different types of nuts. It, it, there's protein in everything. There's protein in fruit. Um, and there's a big misconception that people think that they need massive amounts of fucking protein. And that's bullshit. Like if, if you have like a, like a protein smoothie, like you can get plant-based protein. You can get protein powders derived from plant-based sources that give you this same amount of fucking protein that you would get in your whey protein. You know what I mean? Which whey protein is just dried, you know, uh, cow titty milk. That's all that is. Um, mm -hmm. Which is fucking gross. Um, but yeah, I can assure you, you know, because that's another big misconception, but you do your research, follow some 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 uh, bodybuilding dudes. You know, there's a lot of dudes like Brian Turner, John Venus. Um, there's a couple of uh, people that they have YouTube channels and they 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 go through their whole like what I eat in a day, all that shit. You know what I mean? Me, I'm not I'm not really into that. Like, I'm just I'm already like a big fucking dude. So, like, I, I get all my shit um, that I need. Uh Never really struggled it. Struggled it. I can assure you that there's there's no vegans in the pro in the protein deficiency ward in any hospital that you'll ever go to. I promise you that. That just doesn't exist. It's just bullshit. There's plenty of jacked ass fucking vegans. People who are really into working out and stuff. When you lost all that weight, were you working out or were you just uh, vegan? I was no. Um, I I believe it was a combination. So what I was doing at the time, I was walking and like uh, I was walking for like first month and then those walks turned into like jogs and that was it pretty much just got rid of all the meat got rid of all the cheese got rid of all the milk and just did the best i could and weight just came off but i wasn't coached or anything like that you know what i'm saying like nobody was like okay do this eat this eat that i was just kind of when i was hungry i was eating you know figuring things out as I went along. So how, how, how long have you been vegan for now? Uh, since May, 2015. So three years. Nice. Yeah. I went vegan and then I, then I got my wife to go vegan and, uh, we've been doing it. My cousins are vegan. Um, my mom is um, vegan. She just recently went vegan because, you know, she, I, I told her she had to because obviously she had a serious uh, a health ailment. Well, was it tough to, like, get your wife to go vegan? Um, it really wasn't because, you know, like, that's, she's my partner. So, like, you know, she takes what I have to say serious and I take what she has to say serious. And she's very logical, very grounded person. And she came, you know, she watched everything I watched. She did her own research. And uh, she put me up on some shit and um, we kind of learned together. And she's probably like her fucking, it's so funny because like her food gets fucking demolished everywhere we go, demolished. And it like, I get triggered and shit because it's like, we'll get invited to barbecues and shit. And it's like, you know, she'll make just enough for me and her type of thing. You know what I mean? And motherfuckers eat all the fucking vegan food. So all this fucking meat shit is left around and like, what are we going to eat type of thing? You know what I mean? But it's still cool because it's like, well, <laughs> But in my mind, in my mind, I'm happy though because it's like, yo, at least they eat that vegan shit though. They start to realize they eat all your shit. Yeah, but but it's it, it's oh, but fuck. it's still flattering. It's still yeah. good because a lot of people just they want taste. Like that's what a lot of people care about right away. Yeah. So like yeah. we turn a lot of people just we don't even tell them shit's vegan and shit. We don't like, hey, come over. We're having vegan dinner tonight. No, we just like, hey, come shit. over and eat this fucking burger and shut up. Let's watch the game. <laughs> that's what's up. And they fucking nobody. They don't, they don't nobody, know. Huh? Oh man, my that's my, funny. My <laughs> yeah, but you know, wow, older my mom used to do that. Older people are a little, uh, you know, a little bit more stubborn because they're they're really ingrained in their ways. But typically, people like people start switching shit up when their life is on the line. When they when something serious happens with their health, all of a sudden, people start flipping the script. You know what I mean? And the idea is like, yo, don't wait that long. You know what I mean? Do something now. Prevent that from happening. Catch it now. Catch it early because there's already studies showing that there's kids as young as six years old with fatty streaks in their arterial lining of their veins. 
So, you, six years old. Like, it's fucking wild. I don't know what that is, but it sounds uh, pretty nutty. Like, just like, you know, from their diet. You know, the so, shit that yeah. we feed kids. Think about it. Like, we feed babies cow's milk. We feed babies something that is supposed to raise an infant cow to a 500-pound beast. We're feeding that to a human being who, who's only supposed to be like 150 pounds full grown. It makes no sense. <laughs> so, what about like powder, powder milk? Uh, What's up? Yeah. I think your mic is uh, messed up. I, that was pudding. <laughs> pudding. Yeah, that was pudding. I think his mic, his mic is messed up. So, yeah, it's 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 interesting. Oh, what about, uh, like, what about like uh, like powder milk? So, like a baby, like. Yeah, you pudding. Know. You could type. Just type. Just type your question in the plant-based uh, text channel, please. Yeah, I think hashtag, your mic is messed up, man. Hashtag plant-based. You might have to plug it, plug it out, and put it back in. <clears throat> I think he left. Yeah. Maybe hey guys. Oh, no, oh, what's up, lady? Oh, I'm just, I'm new here, and I didn't know how to pronounce your name. Do you like to be called CDN or C's? Uh, C's is fine. I C's just wanted, cool. okay. Um, I just wanted to uh, chime in. You were talking about that protein that they were connecting to a lot of the diseases, and I was right. thinking you were referring to casein. Is that what you were thinking of? Um, Somebody, I think Mick the Vegan, I don't know if you watch him on YouTube, he went over it. Um. I, I I don't know if it was casein. Oh, let me see. Uh, amino acid related to um, go, You could say what you had um, to say, though. I'm taking a class um, through the T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies. It's um, he's featured on Forks Over Knives. He also wrote the China Study, and um, in this class, we're exploring exactly that the connection between casein and heart disease and cancer and diabetes. It's very fascinating. Everything that you're saying is 100% um, in line with the things I'm learning. Mm. CDN got the knowledge. I mean, that's one thing. I mean, you just make sure you do because you, you almost have to be like fucking, you have to, because the, the, amount of, the amount of like arguments that get brought up, it always blows my mind because it always, it'll start off with like, you know, Bacon though, and then you explain bacon though, and then like, then it goes into yeah, but lion will eat you, sees, and then you explain that, <laughs> and then I was always it gonna goes, be then it goes into yeah, but sees we've been doing it for millions of years, yeah, we also lived in caves for millions, of, you know, for thousands of years, and and uh, and raped and killed uh, and sacrificed human beings, and yeah, that's a that's and next, and then it just keeps going and going, so like. All, just the anti-vegan logic just makes you just like, all right, maybe I don't have an answer for that. I'm going to go get the fucking answer for that. You see what I'm saying? Well, I, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, what, what Taken said is actually the first time I've ever heard anybody say that. And Taken, I really like that, by the way. Um, play devil's advocate with veganism yeah. and you'll find out how strong veganism really is. I really that, like that. That's a footnote for everything. Any uh, philosophy, ideology, whatever you're questioning, just just question it hard, and you're gonna get the truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. It's always good to do. But that's really that's also really good to hear, Lady Vegan, that uh, that you're doing. Um, so you're in school to be a nutritionist. No, I'm not going to be um, like a, a person with a degree. It's a six-week certification class. Um, it's basically a lot of the science behind. Um, the the information you're getting from forks over knives um awesome. and you, yeah um you guys were talking a little bit earlier about um you know questioning it really hard and i one of the things i've done in this class is question b12 because of you know that's the one supplement that we don't get from eating plants right um and i've really come to the conclusion very powerful um convincing evidence that um, it's a it's a microorganism. So 
animals don't actually have it either. They eat, they right. get it when, when they eat grass. Um, and so people who do eat meat may get the B12 by eating the, the, the animal. However, key, key word was may, right? Go right, on. right. It's not actually um, very bioavailable. So we right. meat eaters don't absorb it very well. So meat eaters and vegans alike need to be taking a B12 supplement. Um, and the right. argument is way back in you know like before industrialization it's possible that we were getting our b12 supplement through the water before mm -hmm. it was actually um sterilized sterilized and so the good news is we're not getting cholera anymore through sterilization but we're we're also not getting our b12 mm -hmm. um, i think that's just a powerful um persuasive arguments for you know getting our nutrition from plants. There's a lot of evidence, um, scientific evidence saying that, you know, it's just not natural to be eating meat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at our intestinal tract uh, versus a carnivore's intestinal tract, um, like you said, there's a, there's a lot of evidence already there. And a lot of the, and, and the evidence <gasps> to follow is the peer reviewed evidence. The meaning that it's multiple scientists coming up with the same conclusion, not just one biased, you know, vegan scientist. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> you get it from different sources. And that's why you got to be careful with, you know, when people always say like, yeah, but Joe Rogan said, okay, okay, calm down. Fucking Joe Rogan. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> like Joe. You get what I'm saying? Like it just, it's just wild shit. I'm not, I'm not going on you guy, Jersey guy. Who? Um, what? Oh, me? No, 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 no. I know you're not. That's just like a point that I'm trying to make. Um, fuck. but going to the B12 shit, uh, exactly. Like the, the food is so sterilized that it kills the B12 before we can ever get it from the water or the plants. So, you know, being in the time that we're in, it's okay to supplement with it. And it's not bad to don't think supplements are bad. Like I've personally been taking multivitamins my whole life. My dad used to line us up and take his man multivitamins, cut them in half, and we'd have to swallow the half. So like, that's something I've always done. Um, I don't know if that is the reason why I was getting my B12 or not, whatever the case. You know, I never really had any problems. I'm vegan three years. I still don't have problems. Um, me and my wife just got um, term life health insurance uh, a year and a half ago and flying colors, everything. No threats for cancer or no traces of anything to, you know what I mean? Because when they do these tests to give you, you know, uh, uh, term life insurance, they, they give you a thorough health check and inspection. And me and my wife are vegan, I think going on two years at this point when we did this and everything was fine. So I assure you, like, you know, there's no deficiencies going on when you eat right. Um, but going to the B12 thing, factory farmed animals, they don't eat the grass. Factory farm animals eat out of bins. So the burgers that you get at Mickey D's, they're eating out of bins. Um, the majority of meat that you get, they're eating out of bins. So what farmers do is they actually have to supplement their feed the soybeans that they eat and the grains that they eat with B12 to get B12 in the animal. And then as lady vegan said, even though that, even though the animals may have B12 in their systems, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to absorb that. So B12 deficiency isn't a vegan problem. It is just a human problem. It's you we just all have a problem getting that particular nutrient, but people will try to act like it's just a vegan issue. It's not. Because a B12 deficiency is just a problem that just human beings living in today's society have as a whole. But again, like, you know, you do your research and you figure out, like, I, I personally take a, I take a B12 supplement. Mm -hmm. Me personally. Same. It's interesting what uh, Christo uh, posted. I'm looking at that right now. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. What do you post? By the way, uh, the carnivore the stuff and the plant-based gang, the text channel. So V Pudding said, "Yo, thanks. I was just watching. Uh, I was just talking. I was just asking about powdered milk for babies. Is it any similar to the milk we older people drink? Like, is there any bad side to it? Because I have a nephew and shit, he drinks that. Well, I always think like if I, you know, like when we, when me and my wife have children, like 100% breastfed." Like my babies are going to get their mom's breast milk because that is intended for them. You get what I'm saying? Um, just, you can look into it. I'm not, I'm not really educated on, um, baby stuff like that. Um, 
I don't think it's going to necessarily kill the baby uh, if it's drinking powdered milk, especially, you know what I mean? Because there's plenty of kids who drink it. But once educated, there's another way, you know? I know, like, my, my three, my two nieces and my nephew, they're vegan. So they have their mom's breast milk. Well, the baby does. And then the other ones, they're just, like, they're just vegan, vegan babies. So, like, when they have their milk, they'll drink, like, different types of, you know, uh, plant-based milks. This so, be putting, I would recommend just watch the FAQ, send some of the FAQ videos to um, your, the person who has the baby, if that's a concern for them. Um, and the 22-day the, the vegan challenge, I'm sure there's plenty of experts there. Or a simple Google search, a simple spend a couple of minutes and to an hour uh, researching, you know, vegan baby stuff. You'll find plenty of information on that. Um, this was dope. Pudding guys. finally asked this question. Um, I got, I gotta go. Peace out, guys. Real nice talk. Yo, later, Take brother. Take care, man. Take See care, you. bro. Is that a vegan burger? God damn. Wow, look at that thing. Is that the type of stuff you eat, CDN? I think it's the type of stuff a lot of us vegans eat. Let me see. Holy shit. What is that bake? Is that what is that hanging off? It looks like bacon. Wait, what what are you talking about? Oh, so uh in the plant based gang. Uh that night night Naik posted it. The it's like a burger with a pickle pickle on the top. No, that I've never that's probably I don't know what that is to be honest. What is that fake? Oh. Yeah, it's probably it's probably faux. That's like nuts, like faux. Um, like I said, man, you'd be surprised, man. Like I took a, I took we took everybody to a place in L.A. and we had these vegan burgers and the meat patties or the faux meat patties that they use were faux uh, were Beyond Meat, and it was by far the most incredible fucking burger I've ever had in my life, like to the point where. Where they didn't even bring it out with ketchup because, like, if you would ask for ketchup, they would you could tell that they feel disrespected. That you got, you got, you got, you got the yeah, flavor in, right? You don't. Yeah, need it the... has all the flavor <laughs> in it. Um, and we, and then with the onion rings, oh my god, the, the shit was dogged. Everybody, it yeah, was. Man. We had a couple of vegans in the group, and the majority were just you know non-vegans, and Make nobody me. complained about anything. Like we were just laughing, having a good time, and just enjoying good food. A very consensualized experience. My husband is a transitioning uh, vegetarian, and he actually prefers those Beyond Beef burgers over real meat. No. Mm. What cruelty what is free meat made of? <laughs> I think when when people try like the vegan burgers, it probably just tastes so much more cleaner and stuff, you know? Because the meat nowadays is like, I don't know. When I eat, uh, every time I eat meat, I feel like I'm eating tainted stuff. So it's probably eating that is like really fresh, you know? So, right. So the protein, um, so the uh, Beyond Meat burgers are primarily made of pea protein. Pea? Pea protein, yep. That's the main it's ingredient. Not, it's not what they come up like what they come up with, you know. And to give it its color, they use beet juice. Ah, beet, yeah. You can find them um, in like Whole Foods and other like probably um, health food stores, Earth Fair, depending on where you live. Uh, we made them on my stream last weekend. Yeah, those things are pretty good. They are a bit pricey though, but it's not like you're going to eat that every day. That's just like a once a week or maybe twice a week thing. What is Beyond Meat made of? Uh, it's it's uh, primarily the main ingredient is pea peas. So the protein in peas. And uh, I I would probably just recommend like googling it, just like Google Beyond Meat uh, burger ingredients, because I don't really know off top up. Has anyone tried the Impossible Burger yet? From what I understand, you can only get it from like restaurants who have it. It's not available for like the home cook yet. Not yet. 
I've tried it. I don't like it. I don't like it versus the uh, Beyond Meat burger. I like. I prefer Beyond Meat over it. Oh, good to know. That's surprising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was kind so, of like excited for it, but I just like the heme that they get from this uh, the soy plant, uh, the soybean plant. I'm just not into it because it's like what they're trying to do is replicate the heme, which is the heme found in blood, but the heme is found in every everything and uh so for the for the impossible burger it's 100 percent vegan and they they grab they get the heme and they process it to make it give it that like blood uh vibe whatever that they do and i was, I just wasn't digging it i didn't like it maybe i had a bad one i don't know i gotta i'm sending somebody something right now Oh, this is what I wanted to send. Oh, right here. Okay, this, uh, people. To, okay, right here. Uh, boom. <clears throat> so, all right. Any other questions, guys? For me, that's that's about it. For me awesome. personally, um, how about like a uh, vegan budget for a student who like lives by himself? So that chick up there, I just posted for a uh, coil, coil coil stipulate. She has she got a half a million subscribers on YouTube. Her channel is Cheap Lazy Vegan. So she uh, she uh, ta- she uh, makes videos with uh, like cheap vegan recipes that anybody can make. Tells you what to buy, how to prepare it all right there for you what she eats in a week um you know what i mean full week uh she has like a one video one year ago she made meal prep for the week for twenty dollars whole bunch of whole bunch of meal prep she has a thirty dollar meal prep she has a a one hour one hour vegan meal prep challenge basically meal prep that you could do in an hour and set you up for the whole week so if you're like super busy, you just want to make sure you're getting your food. Hey, uh, yeah. I guess this is a little more on the personal side of that, but uh, like you said, your wife cooks you stuff like all the time, right? Like, what's uh, what are kind of like the staple dinners that you enjoy, like you know, every week in and out? Um. Well, she'll she'll typically cook like. Like about once, once a day, and I'm I kind of responsible for my food for the rest of the day. Um, my personal staples: oh, uh, oatmeal, blueberries, uh, oatmeal, blueberries. I eat that in the mornings. Uh, I make smoothies. Um, um, like you know, uh, different sandwiches. Sometimes I fuck with the faux meat. Sometimes I don't. Uh, you know. Maybe we'll order like a Sicilian, no cheese. When it gets here, we'll put our own vegan cheese on it. Um, maybe throw some faux meat on that if I want, if I'm feeling like uh, like I'm some meaty textures. Uh, spaghetti, peas, um, you know, like a like you know, like a pasta bowl. Uh, she's always like inventing different things when she cooks. Like today we had uh, mac and cheese uh, with broccoli um, and some garden in it. Um, the day before we had um it's it's just a lot of variety it's not like a staple really but i guess you know like i i I just like i like pasta i like like she makes like a like a pasta with peas and uh with uh, a a pasta with peas with lentils um a sauce that she makes but like a girl like this like cheap uh, cheap lazy vegan will probably be way better for that type of information you know what i'm saying Cause I feel like my shit's kind of boring. You know what I mean? Even though my wife is a bomb, like, but me, like the majority of like, I'm just pretty like oatmeal. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm fine. Love oatmeal. You know what I mean? Burritos, tacos. Um, you know what I mean? Like, that's not just like, I would recommend you check out like that YouTube channel and just like see some of her videos and you'd be like, Oh shit. I eat like, you know, all oh, fish bread. What the fuck is fish bread? You know? She has a whole bunch of easy vegan dinner ideas. 
All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to figure out, you know, like, what's on your plate, basically. You know, I, I'm kind of the same. I just see, like, the same stuff every week, in and out, mm -hmm. trying to figure out, you know, what, no, you, what you typically you. see. Yeah, so, I mean, my, my wife is always doing something different. So I was just curious, curious, are the majority of people that are in here uh, all, all vegan, or is there any people in here that uh, eat meat? Because I, I still eat meat. Uh, is anybody... Yeah, yeah, I eat meat. Yeah, I'm trying to learn. I'm just interested in the vegan thing, so I'm just wondering. Like, same, same. I'm just trying to learn. Yeah, it's, it's, I find it pretty interesting. It's definitely, uh, CDN brings it in well. Explains it well. You really should watch those fact videos, like in the order that he has them, and then just think about the way you care about your family and the things around you, why wouldn't you care about another animal? Like, why do we even think that animals deserve the way that they're treated and call ourselves family men or, or, or part of the family that we love? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, well, I, I, like I was saying earlier, like, when I go to eat, like, a burger or whatever, anything meat, I'm always like, fuck, like, you know, like, I love animals, and I was like, damn, this, this came from animals. He's animal had to suffer for me to eat fucking eat this, right? And I always say to myself, if I could, if I could make one, one less thing, uh, not suffer, like, why not, you know? So that's always running through my mind and shit. So uh, Coil stipulates, says, sees, that's where I don't really know the line. Like, you talk about mac and cheese. Yeah, we're talking about vegan mac and cheese. We're not talking about dairy mac and cheese, Coil. Um, so the reason why, uh, the reason why vegans choose to use similar names is because it's it's something we've always done as far as names are concerned and for people who aren't vegan if they're looking for a type of taste like they love mac and cheese try this mac and cheese you see what i'm saying so they can be like okay i kind of know what to expect you know what i mean like all right cool boom so that's why people will say vegan mac and cheese so dairy dairy's not vegan but almond milk is cashew milk is hemp milk is and this is how it's how how it's prepared with these products, but still producing the same texture and the same flavor. So that's why, like once once educated, it becomes a, like a no brainer. It's like, oh my fucking God, like, are you kidding me? Like once you realize, like for example, milk is a perfect example, like, okay, where milk comes from, all the, uh, the cruelty that actually goes into getting a glass of milk. And then you just put that right up next to a fucking glass of like oat milk. And then you drink them and you're like, holy shit, this tastes just as fucking good. Like I could still eat my cereal with this. Or you feel like, why do I even need to eat this? Why do I need to drink this anymore? So it's kind of just uh, so people can relate with uh, the food. Because a lot of people don't know, you know, like I didn't know, you know. So if I went to a vegan restaurant and I saw and I knew everything here was vegan and I saw like uh, beef strips. I know it's made from soy or peas or seitan or some type of uh, or grain protein. Um, I can kind of expect, what, you know, I can kind of try to, you know, I can kind of um, know what to expect from that from that product on the menu. Versus someone just calling it like a uh, blue seitan, <laughs> right? People are like, "What the fuck is that? I'm not trying that weird shit," you know, because that's just how people are. Insane, so good because it it absorbs everything you put in it. So all those spices, all the just everything, and it, it'll absorb it. Highly recommend trying that, especially for those that really like meat. It's probably the closest to like a meat texture that you can get. But I will be working on um, like when it comes to when people ask me all like the in the the, in the, the, the particular stuff like. It definitely seems like people are really into what I eat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm always like, I feel like what I eat is nothing compared to what you can eat if you really went in on it. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm I've never been a picky person. You know, I've never been that. It's never my style. So like, I'm just I'm just very satisfied with everything. That's the type of person I am. Um. So when I tell somebody like, yo, I eat oatmeal every fucking morning, 
I don't want them to be like, oh, oh, oh oatmeal. I can't be vegan. Oh, God. It's like, bro, just, <laughs> just what the fuck? What, just figure out what you like eating now. Go on Google, type that in, and then the word vegan after it. Hit enter. And then there's a thousand recipes for you right there. <laughs> Boom. So, but I will, I'm, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to maybe, um, like once I get my Instagram popping, uh, never start posting some pictures and giving, you know, cause I know people are really into that. So maybe do something along that uh, on those lines. I just always hated those types of questions. Like you'll see who's your favorite artist. I hate answering that question. Sees what's your favorite thing to eat. I hate answering that question. Sees what's your favorite video game. I hate answering that. I don't like answering those questions. It's like I have a phobia of answering a question because I feel like, <laughs> like favorite, that's what. So, so CDN, what's your favorite video game? There you go. You know, banned from the chat. <laughs> oh boy. Any other questions? I'm good. Not for me. Feel free, man. Don't be shy, guys. No one's judging anyone. This is uh, what we're here for. So, if I come up with more, if I come up with more questions, try and think. I know I got a lot. I know when I get off, I should. But I'm gonna be like, damn, I should ask this. I should ask that. Well, if you do feel that way, all the questions, like this, is just like everything you guys are asking me is explained literally a thousand times better in those videos below. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is just, you know, like I'm, I'm, you know, I, I know, I know people just kind of, you know, they have a question they want to answer right away, you know. So like that's why I'm spending the time, and I don't mind. That's cool that you do time. that, you know. It's spreading yeah, you know, the we don't, we don't, I mean, it's it's not only me; it's a lot of people in the community. A lot of oh yeah, of course, of course, the vegan it's brothers and sisters, As, uh, everybody in here. So yeah. it's cool. But yeah, just a quick uh, a quick recap. Like I said, um, if a great app, Happy Cow app, free app, find vegan restaurants in your local area, and they're rated like Yelp, like they're rated five stars, three stars, you know, four stars. Um, if you're really focused on health right now and you just want like you know like uh, 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 some good information, what the health, and um, um, forks over knives on Netflix, great doc documentaries, and then do your research on top of that. You know, that doesn't have to be the end all be all. Um, if you're that type of person, you know, like play devil's advocate and do your own research. Um, when you, if you're really interested in the numbers and what we're actually doing to our planet, I mean, that's, that's, that's a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? That's a no brainer. Like 56 billion animals get slaughtered every year, but we, you know, we, you know, we house 70 billion because they're not all getting slaughtered at once. You know what I'm saying? So 56 yeah, billion nice. land animals and then 2.7 trillion marine life. And when, you know, so to eat that tuna sandwich, understand what goes into the process of catching that tuna fish. You're also catching sea turtles, seals, dolphins, sharks, baby whales. You're catching other wildlife and they're getting scooped up in nets. Well, I heard and, like. Sorry, no, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. What'd you, what'd you say? No, I heard. I heard like the, that bumble, like the bumblebee tuna from like China. It's not even like tuna and shit. It's like some crazy shit. It's not even tuna. Oh, shit, I have no idea. Do some, yeah, do some crazy shit. I see, I see like a couple cans a week and then I started reading about it and they like the bumblebee ones. It's like, yeah, I ain't eating that no more. And at one point they were taking like dolphins and stuff too or something. They're like killing dolphins and putting that in the meat or something. Some crazy shit. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some places they'll actually eat dolphin. They just catch whatever and just like put it in there. And you, you don't know what the fuck you're eating. Uh, Veganity has a question in the chat. As a vegan, do you think it's important to look out for the treatment of pests and animals that get onto the farmland which produce your food? Um, I think, uh, when it comes to that, um, how I see it is, I think we have a bigger problem. We have a way bigger problem 
and I feel like we should just uh, focus the, our energies on the on the main issue, and that's obviously 2.7 trillion uh, marine life, uh, 56 billion uh, land mammals getting slaughtered every year. So that's like priority number one. Um, and again, veganism isn't about perfection. It always goes back to veganism as a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So as a vegan, I do understand that me just existing is going to result in things dying. Okay, I understand that. Um, veganism isn't about perfection. It's about doing the best you can. So. I'm sure I'm sure once the once the majority of people are vegan, then we'll work our way down to like, OK, what can we do? You know, because if people are concerned about pesticides, more plants are eaten by livestock than human beings will ever eat. So as far as pesticides and worrying about insects and stuff like that, dying from these pesticides, more of them are dying because people eat meat. Because livestock eat more plants than humans will ever eat. You guys will understand, that's just simple math, right? Like, it's just obvious that 70 billion land animals eat more food than 7.5, I mean, 70 billion land herbivores eat more food than 7.5 billion human beings. Like, everybody understands that, right? That's just common yeah, I'm knowledge. Just, knowledge. I was literally thinking the same thing, just waiting for you to say it. It's crazy. Right. So, um, that's the Ted Nugent argument in a nutshell, right? So, basically, it's like, so if we care, if we care about the insects and we care about the vermin that are dying in these machines that produce produce, we should definitely stop eating meat, you know, like <laughs> because we're killing way more because we eat the meat. Exactly. Does that kind of answer your question a little bit, Viganity? You're, you're right. I feel like he uh, saw the same video as I did, and that's why he's asking that question. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe okay. Veganity probably is asking that question because that's a question he gets a lot if he's vegan, which I'm, I'm assuming he is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because you'll get, bro. You got the questions I get are fucking so crazy, man. Oh my god. Yeah, it's probably yeah. Like they really they reach the the the, the yeah. reaches. Just looking the, for anything. Like ah, oh, there it is. Gotcha. Gotcha, you can't answer that one, vegan. <laughs> Someone's always trying to one-up you. They're always going to have that person. Oh, can you pull in Taken and the Angry Vert and Veteran again? Yo, what's up, guys? I was just, just cooking. Well, I'm back welcome now. back. Welcome back. Uh, honestly, uh, V pudding, um, uh, oatmeal, uh, burritos, rice, beans, pasta, um, nuts, cereals, fruits, smoothies, ice cream, just all, you know, if it's ice cream or anything that typically had dairy in it, it would just be the vegan version of that. So yeah, my 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 number one recommendation for that type of stuff, like just YouTube, put a great. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in again. Bam. Like you're gonna begin a whole lot of flavor, whole lot of flavor with that chick right there. Much more than I can put you up on. I'm about to take a drive to that New Brunswick place, and uh, you're making me interested. I really want. I'm, oh. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. Have the uh, have the off the grill. You'll be blown away. <laughs> you you made me really curious to see how 